In this video we're going to talk about the Odofin threshold test and specifically about the uh, test procedure. We're getting a lot of questions about this and in this video we're going to explain how you have to uh, how, and how the sequence works of the threshold test. With the threshold test you, the dilution or the concentration works from the lowest concentration to the highest concentration. Being 16 the lowest concentration and the sticks, the triplets with one being the highest concentration. When starting the test uh, it can be useful uh, to offer the red number one to the uh, test person so he can get familiar with the concentration and which uh, odor he has to guess. With the threshold test uh, each time you offer three tri triplets with the red and pen being the target. The other two uh, don't have an uh, odor. In this case we are using the threshold test 2 vinyl ethanol. Uh, you can see that from the uh, purple uh, bands. But we also have the ambutanol version and in that case uh, the bands are uh, red instead of purple. Okay, now the test procedure. When you start the test you offer the 16 pens with the lowest concentration. The red one is a target pen which has to be uh, guessed by the test person. You offer each uh, pen, pull off the, the cap and offer it to the test person. In the manual you can find the, the score sheet on which you can uh, write down if you, uh, the test person guesses the, the target pen right or not. If the target pen is not guessed, uh, then you continue with the higher concentration and in the first round you skip one set of pens. So you start with 16, you skip the 15 and you go further with 14. Now you repeat the cycle and you offer the pens with number 14. If this is not guessed right, then you continue with the pens with number 12 and so on until the test person guesses the pen pens right. In the manual there's an example of the test procedure and there you can see that the first uh, round at number 8 is guessed right. If the test person uh, in identifies the target pen correctly then after that was you offer the exact, exact same set of pens again so in the, te uh, in the example it's number 8 which is guessed right then uh, you offer the number 8 pens again if it's guessed right again then that's the start point of the, the threshold test but in the example number 8 it was not guessed right so it continues to number 6 and as you can see on the example in the manual number 6 were guessed twice in a row. That means that that is the first starting point and the first cross, uh, double cross in the first row. Now that you have uh, determined the starting point you go, uh, uh, go in a different direction so not higher concentration but lower concentration and that's in the second row of the uh, uh, scoring sheet. In the example you can see that now you will not skip a number but you will uh, continue with the next lower concentration. So in the first round you have picked number 6. Now you will go to the lo next lower concentration which is 7. In the example you can see that number 7 was identified uh, correctly. So then uh, you will go up uh, to the next one, which is number 8. These were identified uh, twice in a row also. The, then you go up to number 9. You uh, continue until the test person uh, do, does not identify the pen correctly. In the example you can see that was pen, the sticks with number 9. The first time uh, the 
pens was, were identified correctly and the second time they were not. When going up or uh, going uh, to the lower uh, concentrations, you go on until the test persons uh, do, do not identify uh, the, the target pen. In the example, this is the sticks with nine. That's the second turning point, and then you continue to the uh, third row. Now you go up to the next highest, higher concentration, so uh, not nine, but eight. You continue until uh, the test person uh, identifies the sticks twice in a row. The threshold test is finished when you have seven turning points on your score sheet. When the test is finished, you look at the last four turning points and you take the average of those four, four uh, turning points, which is the score for the threshold test. I hope this uh, explains how the test procedure works of the threshold test. If you do have any questions about it or uh, if something is uh, unclear, uh, please take a look at the, at the manual or contact us for more information. If there are any questions, just let us know by email or a phone or visit our website so we can help you further. Thank you for watching this video and uh, talk to you next time.